Eight months. Eight months ago. Gail Fiebig has marked the loss on her left forearm. That is a 65-year-old grandma went and got a tattoo. Four were injured, five were killed, June 7th. And you can hold it by your heart. Her daughter was 42, a mom of two girls, now 14 and 11, and now being raised by their dad. He took my daughter. He took our future. He took our granddaughter's m mother. He took everything from us. That day, she was out riding with friends, a group called the Chain Gang, when Pickett plowed into them from behind, killing five, leading four badly injured. Considered the deadliest bike-related crash in U.S. history. She was a runner, mostly mountain climber, marathoner, just did her first triathlon and was just, and had done all the training indoors because it was bad weather, so they were spinning. So it was the first day she was out on her bike. He's charged with five counts of second degree murder, four counts of reckless driving, and five counts of driving while drunk causing death. Police say he took pain pills and muscle relaxers hours before the crash on West Nidge Avenue. A judge already has found him competent to stand trial, but his attorney has filed a notice that he would claim an insanity defense. I think it's just another ploy to drag things out. And hopefully for us, it's a good thing because he won't have anything to come back on at the end. Yeah. To say that he didn't get a fair trial or anything. Fevig's mother says she finally got up the nerve to see Pickett in court last week. He's just a man. He's just a man. He's not a big dragon kind of killer thing. He was just a man. It was sad. But she wants him to pay for the loss. He should never drive any vehicle again. And the only way to do that is he has to be incarcerated because if he gets out, he'll just do it again. He has no remorse, no anything for other humankind. Also today, a Kalamazoo County judge ruled that his trial could go forward. The judge denied Pickett's attempt to suppress statements that he made to police about that crash. It is really just a horrific case. What's next in Pickett's whole well, you know, trial process? Well, at this point, he's scheduled to go to trial April 24th in Kalamazoo County, but it's not clear yet if this insanity defense could somehow delay that. So, right, that's really yeah, throwing a wrench yeah. in everything. All could right. very well be. We'll keep following it. Ken Colker, thank you for that report.